All right, guys, so this is my third video for, for my greenhouse build. Uh, if you haven't watched my uh, last video, I'm going to put a link to that up here uh, or at the end of the video. Uh, today, what we're going to do is we're going to put a purlin in. And what that is is a, is a support that goes across the top, and it keeps all the bows from flapping or, or moving around. Basically, it just supports the structure, makes it nice and uh, sturdy. Uh, and it's these, this pipe you see right here. And what it is, let me get one here for you. It is a one and a quarter inch uh, galvanized tubing. And one end is crimped here, and the other end is not. So they're all going to fit together, and we're, we're going to uh, tie a, or, or tap a, um, a self-tapping screw in here so they don't come apart and well let me show you uh, what we're gonna do so what I've done here is I laid my pipe down all along the side of the um, greenhouse now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all the ends together like that Okay, so now that I butted the uh, purlin up against the side of the greenhouse, you want it right up against the ground stakes here. They're all put together. Now we want to make sure this end here is even with the very front of the greenhouse. So we're going to do that right now. All right, so now we have the very top of this pipe here. We want it flush or even with this. So we're going to pull this back. Yeah, about right there. That's good. Now, now we got this lined up with the edge here. And now we're going to mark this pipe all the way down. Let me show you. All right, so now that we got this lined up even with the front of the greenhouse, Get yourself a marker, like a Sharpie or something, and right in the middle of this ground stake, put a little mark here. Okay, right with the middle of this stake to here. Now, actually, the first one, you don't really need to do it, but the rest of them, you do. And now we know this pipe is all the ends are squeezed together nice and tight, and we can start marking them here. The reason for that is when we pick this pipe up and put it up here, the exact same spacing that was here is where we're going to put it up there. So all these up there, and some might be a little off like this or whatever, but once we mark them here and we pull them right where they're supposed to be, they'll all be lined up perfectly. Okay, so now when we get to the end here, hey, you want to help too? Yeah, you want to help? <laughs> when you get to the end here, we're going to we're going to cut this end off here, but we're going to mark it right to the edge of the um, uh, ground stake. So let's push it up against there. And we just want to make a line just like that. So that's the very, this part we're going to cut off. And uh, everything else is all lined up. So when we bring it up there, uh, we'll line up the marks with the, with the top hoop there. And uh, all these should be spaced, at the, at the top will be spaced apart exactly what it's spaced apart here. Okay, what we're going to do now is cut the end off. You can use a sawzall with like a bimetal blade on it or something or even a carbide tip blade. But what I have here, and I already have it mounted on my saw here, is a Diablo blade. I used this when I did my uh, solar array here. Now it's cutting schedule 40, 2 inch schedule 40 pipe like it was going through wood. Unbelievable. Um, so that's what I have. It. I'm going to put a link to this in the description 
uh, under the video where you can get it. Uh, very, very good. Alright guys, so what I've done here is, remember this hoop has three different sections. You got one there, this one here, and you got that one there. It makes three sections to make this bow here. Uh, depending on what kit you have and what width you have, uh, some come with two bows, some with three or more, I think. Um, but anyways, what I did is found the middle here, basically. It doesn't have to be perfect, but since I'm an ex-machinist, ex I have to be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways what I done is measured from this portion of the hoop this section from where it started and toward ends right there and it was like 10 feet 3 inches so I went 5 feet 1 and a half inches and I made a a mark right there so I know I'm right in the middle okay and I'm gonna do the same thing to the very last one and the rest of them we can pretty much eyeball them once we start hanging them uh, before we tighten everything down, which I'll show you, uh, we'll get everything lined up nice and straight. Alright guys, now that the monsoon is over, I can get back to work. <laughs> um, so, this is the end I cut off, and as an example, I'm going to show you the first pipe we're going to put up, that's going to go touching the first bow here. Uh, we're going to put that up using this right here. On the end, it's going to go on the end like, let's see if I can get it on there like that. We're going to screw that up into the bow and we're going to put one here on the uh, end to keep it from sliding out of course. And then the rest of them up there, we're going to put them on these hangers here. These hangers work like this. Okay, they go together like this. The bow goes across into here and the purlin goes across in, into here and it gets clamped together here like that. So that's what we're going to do up there. All right, so we're going to be putting these purlins in, or this one purlin in each section at a time. Because other greenhouses that are shorter, or not as long as mine, uh, like the 30-something footers and stuff, you could probably with two people put it all together and pick it up on two ladders and put it up yourselves. But this is 60 feet long and there's no way we, my, my wife and I can do it. So, we'll get the first section. Rest that one, and that's a 10 foot ladder there. And the other one I can do here with no problem. Well, minimal problems. <laughs> We're going to put our uh, end on here. Like, let's get up a little higher. That looks pretty good. We want to put this pearl in right where we marked it, right in the middle. And we'll put two screws on each end. That looks pretty good. So when it's all said and done, it should look like this. 
All right, so you can see I got the hangers hanging here, of course. Now we're going to slip the uh, purlin through there. Like that. We're going to get the bolt through there. And we're going to put a nut on there. There's one. And we're going to keep these loose for, for right now. Because we're going to need to slide this back and forth. Or side to side, I should say. Like that. When it's ready to tighten, when we're ready to tighten it all down. So now we're just going to do the next one, put more hangers, put the next piece of pipe in, and just keep on going to the very end. Alright, so I just installed the purlin. Uh, I, what I ended up doing is finding the center of each hoop. Because I started thinking about it, if one of the hoops is over a little bit and the other one's over the other way a little bit, it's, it's not going to look right. So I found the center of each hoop and I lined up the bracket and the uh, purlin right in the center and right at the four foot mark spacing and then tied the uh, hanger down really good and everything looks nice and straight. And this way, when you look on the sides here, on this side here, everything looks lined up nice. And on the other side here, everything looks lined up really nice too. <laughs> She's gotta play. Good girl. Good girl. You give it to me? Huh? You give it to me? No? Let me see the toy. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see the toy. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come here. Let me see. It's all yours. All right guys, so now we have to put the wind bracing in. And what it is are these pipes right here and the ends are crimped like that. Okay, the problem is both ends are crimped the same way. They go right here. Now if you put it flat at the bottom here, at the top, this needs to turn a little bit. So what I ended up doing is putting a little twist, twist on the, uh, on the ends here and this one here I had to put a little twist in it too barely see it but I also had to cut the uh, cut an angle on here because when you put it up against here 
and up against here it's going to stick out over here and, and hit the plastic so I had to cut that off right there. Alright so one end I'm going to put that down here and we'll put a clamp on it. Okay. That's good. And this in here, we're going to put a uh, self tapping screw in it. That's better. All right, so this is how they want the wind bracing installed. I have the other three corners to do yet. But after that, we have the end wall kits to put in. And that goes in the front and in the back. And there's a 36 inch door, a storm door, that's gonna be installed there also. We got baseboards to put in and hip boards for the roll up sides. So there's a lot of work to do yet. So let's get started. All right, so I just finished up putting the wind brace on and I put them on each corner and that worked out pretty good. Next thing I have to do is put on the baseboard and that's going to go on the bottom, on the outside, all the way around the uh, greenhouse. So let's get started with that. This guy didn't make it. <laughs> That's what you get for hiding under uh, uh, the boards here. Looks, looks like he got crushed. All right, so I'm ready to put my baseboards in all the way around the greenhouse. Now, when I measured these, uh, we wanted a four foot spacing in between uh, each ground stake or each uh, bowl here. They're not perfect because when you're pounding them in, it, it's gonna move around a little bit. But they're close, they're like within quarter inch or something like that. Uh, but anyways, uh, I took a tape measure and I went to that uh, bow there, or that ground stake, put it in the center, because that's where we want the board to go. Brought it all the way here, right to the edge, and we got eight feet, one inch, and about a quarter. So about 97 and a quarter inches, at which is what it comes out to. Uh, so we want to get our first board in. After that, they're going to be approximately eight feet. We're going to have to measure it though because it could be off a quarter inch here and there. Uh, all the way down till we get to the end. And uh, at the end, on this 60 foot bed, we, we're going to have a, uh, uh, just a little more than four feet uh, left over for a, a board I'm going to cut and put on the end there. Okay, I'm going to measure my next one, and it's just slightly under 8 feet. So each one's going to vary. I guess I'm somewhat of a perfectionist. 
<laughs> I want this boards each one to meet right in the middle here because we're going to put a, a strap a two hole strap on each um, ground stake to hold these boards together uh, so you want the centers basically uh, each end to meet right in the center of this stake the ground stake here so I'm just going to measure each one cut each one to each uh, uh, opening here and um, and just continue on all the way down all right so I'm at the other end now uh, you could see how I connected each board here with these uh, with these straps here let me get one up there with these straps right here I connected where they meet where they join together and in the middle of the board also I connected them with the straps so each ground stake gets one of these two hole straps and now on the very end what I did is I got one of the straps I put it in a vise and I just straightened it out like that the reason for that is it's gonna go it's gonna go around here and right into the board here so that's what I'm doing right now And they give you plenty of wood screws and these little washers too they give you let's do it from since I'm right-handed And then the inside you just want to connect it to the board also. Alright. That'll do it. Alright, so what I've done here is I put a line running from the top of this board all the way to the opposite end on that side and this way you can see all your low spots like here for instance this is my low spot here so what I'm gonna have to do here is take or unloosen the straps on all my boards and raise it up accordingly to make everything nice and straight up against the line um, Unfortunately, I can only find eight foot boards uh, for this greenhouse. Um, I searched for 12 footers and 16 foot boards, but they didn't have enough of them. Uh, they are uh, in high demand, I guess, right now. And uh, I couldn't get them. I couldn't get enough of them, anyways. So, this is what I have to work with. Um, and we're also going to put a hip board here. Same deal, but three feet up. We're going to run a line from three feet up from that board all the way down to the other side doing the same thing with the line and uh, we're going to get that going now. All right, so I just finished the baseboards on both sides and they come out pretty good. I was, I was pretty happy with it. Um, both sides come out nice and straight after putting the line on there, adjusting each board and then retightening the uh, uh, straps. So both sides come out really, really nice and straight, and I'm really happy with that. Um, what we're going to do here is um, this greenhouse has uh, roll-up sides on it. There's going to be a big, I'm not sure if it's a one inch or one and a quarter inch tube going all the way down with handles on both sides where you can roll up the sides for ventilation. Okay, And I want a three foot opening here. So what I did here is I measured from the top of the baseboard all the way to the top of this line here so we got 36 inches plus the board is going to go all the way down here 
um, it's 41 and a half inches and that's where I put my line here going all the way down to the opposite end of the greenhouse so we can line up our boards so guys that's what we're gonna do next Hold it, hold it. I don't want to hold it over our fish. I'm fine. When you're in a hurry, it's like yeah. everything goes wrong. <laughs> I'm not in a hurry. But I think, uh, All right, you're going to let go. I think I must have lifted it. Did you lift it? Now we'll see. We can adjust it. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It ain't, it ain't that bad. Let me uh, put a screw on the end here. Let me adjust this a little bit. Now your first board, same as down there, is up here. It's got to be right up to the end of your uh, greenhouse. I wish they had better straps. I'm not crazy about these straps, but it is what it is. Okay, and we just gotta do that all the way down. Alright, so once I get the boards on on both sides and they all look good, everything looks great, nice and straight, to make sure they don't move on these straps here, I'm going to put a self-tapping screw on these straps so they don't, um, it doesn't slide around on me. So I'm going to do the top and the bottom. Not sure if I'm going to do every one, but maybe every other one, but it just keeps this board from sliding down, that's all. All right, so then after I do the rest of them like that, um, even the bottom ones too I'm gonna do. But like I said, I'm not sure if I'll do every one, maybe every other one. Uh, Use your discretion. After that, we're going to put the uh, end walls in. And uh, I guess that will be in the next video. All right, guys. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video.